Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will talk about the this keyword in Java. And here is our outline. We will talk about the this keyword. We will reference instance members using the this keyword. We will call an overloaded constructor using the this keyword. And finally, we will talk about the this keyword and static variables. Let's get started. What is the this keyword? The this keyword refers to the object itself. It is a reference to the object. You can imagine that the this keyword is another name for the object. So we can use the dot operator on the this keyword just like we use it on a variable which is an object. Alright? So now let's see what can we do with the this keyword. As we saw previously, we can use it to reference data fields. So for example, in order to access an attribute that is called x, we can say this.x. This is very important when the name of the attribute is the same name as the parameter, right? We can also use the this keyword in order to call instance methods. So just like we can access an attribute, we can access a method using the dot operator on the this keyword. And finally, we can use the this keyword in order to call a constructor inside the class as you will see in a little bit. Now let's see some examples. Let's try to reference data fields using the this keyword. Have a look at this example over here. We have a class that is called c1, inside it we have a private integer x. Suppose that we have a setter for the variable x. As we saw previously, if we assign x to be equal to x, over here we are assigning the parameter to be equal to itself. So in order to say that we want to assign the attribute to be equal to the parameter, we will use the this keyword in order to reference the attribute. So have a look over here. Now we have the same code, but over here we are saying that this.x is equal to x. So as we said that this keyword refers to the object. So suppose that we create an object inside the main method from the class c1. And after that we use the setx method on this object. So when this method is executed, that this keyword over here will reference the object that is calling this method. Now suppose that we create another object from the class c1. And after that we use the setx method. So in this case that this keyword is going to reference the new object. So that this keyword reference the object that is calling the method. Now before we continue, have a look at this note over here. Have a look at this class. This is the class C1, it has a private integer x, and it has a constructor. Inside the constructor, we are receiving the value of x, and we have some logic over here. If x is greater than or equal to 0, we will assign the attribute to be equal to x. And if not, we will assign the attribute to be equal to 0, okay? So we are writing this logic over here. And also, we are writing the same logic inside the setter. So over here, we have duplicate code. And when we are writing programs, we want to avoid duplicating code. So to fix this, we will do the following. Inside the constructor, we are going to use the setter in order to set the value of x. So over here, we are calling the setx method and we are passing the value of the parameter x as a parameter. So we receive the value of x over here and then we pass that to the setx method. Now the setx method is going to execute this code over here. So as you can see, we have our logic in one place. So in the following examples, you will see that I will use the setters inside the constructor, alright? So let's continue. Now let's try to reference methods. Over here we have a class C1, it has a private integer x, and inside the constructor we are calling the setx method in order to set the value of x. This code over here is the same as this one. We can use the this keyword in order to call the setx method. Now let's talk about invoking constructors using the this keyword. Suppose that we are working with the circle class. We have a private point center and a private double radius. Inside this constructor, we are assigning the center to be equal to this point and the radius to be equal to 1. And we have another constructor, we are assigning the center to be equal to the parameter center and the radius to be equal to the parameter radius. So over here we have duplicate code. We are assigning the center and the radius over here and over here. Imagine that we want to do something like this. In the default constructor, we will call the constructor that takes two parameters. The first parameter will be a point, 1, 1, and the second parameter will be 1. So now what's going to happen? We are calling this constructor over here, and the center will be equal to this point, and the radius will be equal to 1. So over here, the center will be assigned to the point 1, 1, and the radius will be assigned to 1. So we have the same thing as before, but now we are making use of this constructor inside this constructor. If you try to run this code inside IntelliJ, you will get an error. In order to call the constructor, we cannot call it like this. We must use the this keyword. So have a look over here. Now we have the same code as before, but instead of writing the name of the constructor, we are using the this keyword followed by parentheses. So if you use the this keyword just like a method, we will be calling a constructor. 
and the Java will know which constructor to call based on the number of parameters. So over here we have two parameters, so Java will know that we are calling this constructor. Okay? Finally, let's talk about the this keyword and static variables. Have a look at this code over here. We have a static variable k and we have a setter and a getter. As you see over here, the setter and the getter are static methods. So if we try to use the this keyword in order to access the variable k, we will get an error because we cannot use the this keyword inside a static method, alright? But as you can see over here, the name of the parameter is the same as the name of the variable, right? So what can we do in order to assign the static variable k to be equal to the parameter k? Have a look over here. Simply we will use the name of the class. As we said before, static variables are class variables. So we will use the name of the class in order to access the variable k and we will assign it to the parameter k. And over here we can do the same thing. We can return k or we can return circle.k. We have the same thing, okay? And this is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.